Hey, we are in the second chapter of 2 Timothy, so get your Bible in a second and let's start. <laughs> that was dumb. We're going to use it anyway. All right, thanks for joining us while Shane is still laughing. It's great to have you join us. We are in the uh, second chapter of 2 Timothy. Again, I just want to take just a, a moment to put us up to speed here where the Apostle Paul is in prison, Roman dungeon, dirt floor, cold, wet, in chain, literally in chains. He can't even walk around. Uh, miserable place to be, and he knows that he is going to be executed. He writes his last letter that we have in a recording of the Apostle Paul. He doesn't write it to a church, doesn't write it to a group of people. Mm -hmm. He writes a very personal letter to Timothy, who he has developed as a pastor. He is passing the baton to Timothy to carry on the ministry. Some of this stuff is very, very personal. A very little doctrinal stuff in here. P Timothy already knew, mm -hmm. you know, Christian doctrine. And so we're going to pick it up in chapter two. He says, you then, my son, not really a son, but a son in the faith. Yep. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. He says, hey, listen, be strong. I, every time I hear that, I think of Joshua, you know, be strong and very courageous. Yep. But, uh, you know, and I, I guess we all need to be reminded here. Paul is Paul is ready to, to be killed. He's telling Timothy, be strong. It might even come down to you being killed and, you know, be strong. This message is worth it. Uh, they can't stomp, stamp out, kill the truth. Be strong in this. The persecution is incredible. Uh, Paul is concerned that Timothy is, he's a little bit worried. Timothy, I don't want you to shrink back. I don't want you to be fearful. Mm -hmm. This message must go on even in the midst of persecution. You, you need to be strong, stay faithful, okay? Keep teaching is really what, he, what he's telling him. He says this, endure hardships with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Hey, endure hardships. Don't quit when it's hard. Don't, don't just stop, you know, because somebody said something yeah. bad to you or because, hey, you know what? They might actually confiscate your stuff. You might not have a home to go to, you know? You know oh, what? Hey, gosh. It would be very, very tough. But the whole time, I and mean, we live in, uh, you know, blessed America. It's so hard for us to imagine this. But, hey, this, this gospel of Jesus Christ is eternal. There is nothing that matters more than this. Do not lose faith. Do not slip. Don't go to the right or the left. Mm -hmm. Stay focused on this message. Mm -hmm. it, Jesus is eternity. Jesus is life. He is a connection mm -hmm. to God forever. And he says, he used this example of an army, which I really like it about being in service. Hmm. He goes on and he says, no one, this is just an example. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants, a soldier wa uh, wants to please his commanding officer. Similarly, if anyone competes as an athlete, he does not receive the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you ins insight into all of this. I think it's amazing that he doesn't actually spell it out, but he gives him three examples. Listen, mm -hmm. Timothy, there's a lot of persecution. Timothy, this is really hard, but don't lose faith. You stay connected. Stay you stay strong. focused. You stay strong. Then he goes into like a soldier doesn't get caught up into civilian affairs, mm -hmm. but c pleases his commanding officer. What is a soldier? A soldier has a, the duty in which he's called to is greater than himself. Yep. This, this purpose that I'm giving my life to. His focus. Focus is greater than other affairs when you are engaged in this military thing. Then he goes into being in sports and he says, hey, nobody wins the victor's crown unless they follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can't just come out and in and out. You know, you have to follow the rules if you're going to. Then he goes into a farmer getting the first. And, he, and that analogy goes to the fact of you stay focused, you stay committed and you're going to receive. A there, there's a reward yeah. that, that you know what? It's, it's a reward that's far outweighs everything that we could go through. Paul is sitting there getting ready to be killed, tells Timothy, 
Don't give up no matter what, because this mission and this purpose is worth it. Mm -hmm. There's a reward for it. Mm -hmm. um, it is eternal and don't give up. And I think what a great challenge for us. Yeah. And I, I don't know, you know, you and I aren't going through anything really big right now. Nope. Uh, I know some, some of, uh, maybe some of you watching this are going through something big, but no matter what it is, um, don't ever, ever, ever sway or veer from not just the belief in Jesus Christ, but the mission. Mm -hmm. Stay engaged in the mission because, mm -hmm. and this haunts me often, every single person who leaves this earth without Jesus Christ, without believing in what Jesus did for them, will be separated from God forever. There is no second chance. There is no other way. If that is true, this mission deserves everything we can do for it. This it's mission. more important than anything we're ever going to do in this life, right? Way more important. More important than our relationships. I mean, relationships will make a difference in that mission, but yep. not apart from the mission. Nope. Right? Right. So then yeah. our work, then our what you know, retirement. Yep. Anything. Anything. That that's what this is all about. Uh, let's continue to go here and we won't be long. But uh, we'll just carry it on as he kind of finishes this thought. He says this, Remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel. Gospel means good news. This mm -hmm. is the message of good news for which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. <laughs> Therefore, endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. with eternal glory. Uh, I don't know how you can, we don't need to add to that. I mean, what he said <laughs> is so clear and so point. The gospel, the good news is that Jesus Christ came to earth as God. Mm -hmm. His lineage, physical lineage, came through David, which is an Old Testament promise to the Jews. And he says, uh, stay faithful to this. And he says this thing about God's elect. Uh, um, again, Paul always had this heart for the Jews. Mm -hmm. And the Jewish people brought the Savior into the world, and then they rejected him. You know, the, the cornerstone was rejected. You know, the stone that they rejected. You know, all these things that they rejected Jesus. And Paul always had a heart for the elect. And that's who he's talking about here. Hey, listen, don't give up. Don't. They need to know. They need to know this message. And I oftentimes think, who's my elect? Who are the elect that God wants and that I need to stay faithful so that they will receive that? He ends this, this thought with, and we're just going to read this and then we'll close out. He says, here's a trustworthy saying. Ponder this. If we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, I love this part the best. He will remain faithful. If we are unfaithful. Yeah, if we are, yeah. If we are faithless. Oh, unfaithful. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He will remain faithful. For he cannot disown himself. He is true to his word. Yeah. It's interesting here that all of these, pro these are promises. These, remember this, man. Hey, if we die with him, you'll notice in there that even if we are not faithful, if we are faithless, mm -hmm. he will remain faithful to us in his word. The only way that God will ever reject us is if we reject his Savior. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, he won't reject us if we lose faith. He won't reject us if we fail. He if will we mess up. If he we is sin. still faithful. Yeah. He is true to his word is of his very character. He cannot be unfaithful. He will be. But if you and I reject Jesus Christ, there is no other salvation to be had. Mm -hmm. It is in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Hey, we really hope that this video was helpful for you. If you'd like to stay up to date on our weekly content, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that little bell icon so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. And if you'd like to support the ministries here at Access Church and help make videos like this possible, there'll be a link in the description below. As always, we appreciate your partnership in helping us draw people into a growing relationship with God through Jesus Christ.